Hello my friends. So as usual, you folks have come through and really made me have a bit of a wake up call. Um, all this time I've been worried that my content isn't exciting and that you know you 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 could get bored with watching my same old same old shit that I put out but you've have all said to me it's everyday life we can see exciting things and stuff on um tv and you know and all this thing but what we like to the most is just hearing you talk about everyday life because that is what the rest of us are doing um so going forward with my channel i thought this afternoon i was going to change the name to reflect my new mindset and so i changed it to every day with becca um rather than the vlog me because okay that's what i'm doing i am doing a video a uh, video log a vlog but um i just wanted something that said exactly what i would be doing and that is every day with becca so it's just everyday stuff me chatting shit about all kinds of random things um so that's that however i have got now you've heard me talk about how difficult it is um i can't really film when i'm taking two dogs um with me because i have both hands full not anymore i got this really amazing gadget so let me show you um so it goes over your head, ideally without having your glasses on when you put it on, but you get the gist. So it goes over your head and on the bottom here is a very strong magnet. And what you do is you attach this part which attaches your GoPro and that then is mag magnetically clasped into that hole which means that I can film whilst having the two dogs and if for whatever reason my little GoPro is out of action now I don't know what happened just then but I was just about to say there is a mobile phone attachment to it. For some reason it switched off. Um, I don't know why that is. So, yes, I'm not going to be worried about talking about everyday stuff anymore. I do plan to do a video um, just explaining some of the reasons why I have to do some of the things that I do, like go to bed early, for instance. Now, I know a lot of you have heard me talk about um, certain health conditions and stuff that I've got. So I thought I might do a video and go into a little bit more depth about that with with you folks. So you, you just get a better understanding of um what's been happening um what is happening so yeah today i've really felt completely different so i had this package delivered with with this but i also had the very exciting package delivered of three bottles of household bleach so not everything that comes from Amazon is an extravagant purchase. This was definitely not an extravagant purchase. It was fairly cheap for what it is. And it's very sturdy because I've tested it out. I wasn't going to attach this little sucker 
um, only for it to smash its little head on the ground when the magnet failed. So it's pretty sturdy. This afternoon, I started watching, and I don't know why it came up in the suggestions, but it came up in the suggestions on YouTube, these caving videos. You know where people go under, underground and they do caving? Oh my God. You would have to be completely bonkers to try this. Now, I could barely freaking watch. They deliberately, these people deliberately go down into these caves and then they squeeze themselves through the tiniest, minutest little gaps. And it is a struggle. And sometimes what they do in order to get through, um, they put both their arms by their sides and then they scoot through with their legs. Just the thought of being in a place and not having my hands free to help me out is just horrendous. But anyway, no, this came from my suggestions. Now I can't stop watching it or that type of videos, mostly because I think to myself, and this is why I never do anything adventurous because doing adventurous things suck. Being in a cave, for me, sucks. Heights, I like my feet on the ground. Speed, even that, you know, I, I get a little bit freaked out in cars when they, when they go a bit, bit too fast. Um, so I'm a creature that is quite happy not doing this type of thing. Although I am more than happy to watch some other maniac do it because I live vicariously through these videos. It's like any video we watch really, isn't it? We get a suggestion about something and we kind of experience whatever they're experiencing through that video. On this instance, I'm sat here thinking, I'm so glad I'm not the one making this video because they put themselves into some really scary, sketchy situations. I mean, this one I'm watching at the minute um, I have paused it for the purposes of speaking to my friends. Um, this particular channel is called Action Adventure Twins. And I'm just about to watch The Staircase to Hell Part 3. Yes, Part 3, because it's pretty horrendous. So you've got to watch Part 1 and 2. Um, but there are a few other channels that now I've got hooked. I mean, it is pretty interesting when they go into these places, you know, sometimes which no other maniac has been before. And they go in with their little GoPros strapped to their heads on their helmets and they film themselves doing this stuff. Some of them, but not all of them, have the disclaimer don't try this yourself we are professionals which you know you would think this day and age you wouldn't need to do but yeah this day and age you do this we are the generation that never before somebody said something funny the other day um back in the 50s you'd have a car manual it would talk about how to do an oil change, where the spark plugs are located, all that good stuff. You know, now in the manual, first page is, please do not drink the battery acid. And this is no shit. They showed the video. They showed the the book with it in. And I that's what we've come to. You know, it's like um, one of you said to me, um, 
we were talking about something similar and a bag of mixed nuts and on the back it said warning this may contain nuts i mean what the freak oh uh, you know somebody that is allergic to nuts gonna pick that up and say oh i'm allergic to nuts but whatever let's read the packaging <gasps> warning this may contain nuts <gasps> not gonna buy it then kill me you know bonkers things like that so it's very interesting the type of videos that we can get drawn down this rabbit hole of youtubia and it takes us to some very exciting places if this video suddenly cuts off by chance um, it's because the battery is on amber but I'm just going to carry on chatting shit until I get cut off so if it suddenly stops you think oh that was abrupt well it was abrupt but yeah I go with the YouTube algorithm whatever it throws up for me to watch I think hmm, caving claustrophobia I'll give it a go and before you know it, where you are, you're going caving and squeezing yourself psychologically through tiny claustrophobic gaps. But, yeah, they say it makes them feel alive doing this. And I would think, yeah, fuck it does. Because you're this close away from death. So, yeah, you're going to think, oh, I'm alive, but not for much longer if I carry on squeezing my throat self through this tiny freaking gap. But then I have to tell myself whilst I'm watching it, look, the video went up, didn't it? Yeah, so if they, if they got trapped, then the video wouldn't be up, right? And I think, ah, yeah, so they made it out. Not like I watched a movie... Um, a while back now about a guy that got tra trapped in the nutty putty caves um if you if you don't know what i'm talking about just google um death nutty putty caves and it is as as it's spelled n-u-t-t-y and p-u-t-t-y yeah there were reasons explained for that but i can't remember so this dude got trapped, um, you know, and they made this movie and it was heart-wrenching. Um, he hadn't even intended to go cave-in with his, um, I think it was his brother-in-law or something like that. But he ended up getting trapped down this particular cave system and couldn't be rescued. And the cave was actually sealed off and his body remains there to this day which makes me feel extremely sad but also watching people put their lives in danger and then saying oh it makes me feel so alive and i and i'm watching it thinking well fuck yeah you you makes you feel alive because you're like this close from being snuffed out Anyway, I will not be going caving, obviously. I mean, look where I am every night. Um, I will not be climbing high buildings like the other Netflix documentary I watched, Skywalkers. Oh, my God. I have mentioned it before, I think. But if you don't like heights, you are not going to like this. Um, Skywalkers. I, on Netflix, my butt cheeks were like this the whole way through. I had to keep reminding myself that my feet were on the ground and they've got no ropes, they've got nothing holding them up and they climb these regular buildings, cranes, you name it, that look stupid and dangerous, they climb it. Uh, and this couple, like a whole group of their friends were already dead because of accidents. And yet they still did it. I mean, it's absolutely bonkers. But again, they say, 
I never felt so alive. And I would put it to them, that is because one false move and you're dead meat down on the flagstones at the bottom, you know, <sighs> splashing all over the pedestrians that are walking by. Oh, it wouldn't be nice. So watching that, I had to keep reminding myself that my feet, my feet are on the ground, Becca. They're not going to show you these poor people plummet into their death on a Netflix documentary and filming the whole thing, getting to the end and thinking, oh, well, they were nice, weren't they? But no, these things are not for me. I'm not an adventurous person in that type of sense. I'm a fun loving person. I love to have fun and um, I love things like that that make me feel good, that make me laugh. And watching these programmes make me feel alive because I think I'm hanging on to my life as long as I possibly can. So yeah, anyway, that was my little vlog for today. Thank you again for your wisdom in making me realise that I do not have to be doing anything except being myself in my situation. I always pride myself on being me. Um, and now I don't have to worry that you lot will think, God, her life is so boring. Um, because to some people it might be, but to me, this is how I live my life um, and there's reasons for that. So that's why I thought maybe that a video about explaining a little bit about me and um, why I have to do certain things. So anyway, love you loads everybody. Thank you as always for your wonderful advice and I will see you in the next one. Bye.